again. Today I am going to be showing you what I did past tense with my first grader for the 2022 21, 22 school year. So this video is a little bit different from our beginning of the school year because I'm going to tell you what we actually accomplished. At the beginning of the year, I always have really good dreams and big plans. And then as the school year progresses, this is what we get whittled down to. So I'm just going to go through and show you what I did with my first grader um, and kind of how we enjoyed each of those curriculums, whether it worked or did not work. And then hopefully by the end, you will have some notes or some direction that you want to take with your own first grader. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So if you missed it, I did just post a video for my fourth graders work. So if you want to see how his school year went, then click on that video over there. And then this does not include our family studies. So those subjects like science and history and lap books and all of the other things that we do as a family, this isn't going to include that. This is just what she does independent of her own work. So um, I'll talk a little bit about Bible time, even though that is a family study, but then it's just math and English. So that's what we're gonna cover today and hopefully this video won't be too long. So if you watched my fourth graders video, this is a repeat of that essentially, but um, at the beginning of every perfect day, I do try to have Bible time with my kids. And we do character studies and Bible at the beginning of the school day. Sometimes this study can take five, to seven minutes and sometimes it takes like 20 to 30. It just depends on how far we get into the discussion or the activity or if there's like a project. Sometimes we do that too. So, um, but we interchange. So at the beginning of the day, we would either read one of the stories from one of these illustrated Bibles. These are the two that I have. There's lots of different illustrated Bibles that you can go off of, but these are the two I have. And then my kids also have their own like word Bible, like the official King James version of the Bible. So, um, and I've considered maybe looking into some other translations just because they're younger kids, but this is just what we have. So anyway, I'll read the story that we're working on for that week. And then, um, for my younger kids, my older kids have something a little different that he does, but I have these little like journal notebooks that we got. These are from the redheaded hostess. And this is um, really just talking about from January on because in the fall last year, we were doing mostly character studies. And then in January, we started studying the Old Testament. So anyway, so that's this is just the Old Testament. And I really dove into trying to incorporate that into our school day. So anyway, we'll just read like this is in the future, but a page that we're working on. So when we study Gideon, then we'll color the picture. And then this is just a little guided discussion that we can have. Um, and then she has some activities that we can do. Like this one says, act it out, search and find. Anyway, so each day my daughter will do one of these pages and sometimes I'll have them like color, like some, a page like this while we're watching something, a video on YouTube. There's a lot of creative content that they do. So anyway, so that's what I do with that. And again, I talked a lot about it on my fourth graders video. So I, I hear myself repeating myself, but, um, just a quick note as to this particular product. So this is not a chronological comprehensive study of the old Testament. This particular product will follow the come follow me curriculum, which has just a bunch of suggested readings that goes through all the books of scripture, but it's in the Bible, but it's not going to um, do like chapter one of Leviticus through the end of Leviticus. It's just going to be like scripture chunks of suggested reading where you can pull out really great scripture heroes or um, foundational principles about living gospel principles and commandments, that sort of thing. Okay. So that's Bible time. All right, so let's just talk really quick. We have math because her math was very simple. So we did Horizons Level 1 math, and um, we did that from the beginning of the year. So let's just say we started in September, which is not accurate. But anyway, we did it from September through Christmas. And then in December, we moved away from our actual books, and we did um, just a Christmas unit, a Christmas study called... It was called um, Christmas Story, I think. 
anyway, it, it was a cute little thing that we did, but we did that specifically and we stepped away from all of our standard stuff. And then in, um, after Christmas, so come about like February, we started our versatiles, which I didn't bring those out, but, um, I just posted my versatiles video not too long ago, but anyway, so our family loved versatiles. So she did all of her math work in her versatiles and we really put this curriculum aside. When we finished the versatiles, uh, lesson book, then we picked this up again. So I had to order book two in, um, whenever it was like March and we just barely started picking it up. So she's only what? A couple pages in. Anyway, so she didn't really get very far into this and I'm going to continue this as a part of her, um, I'm going to continue this as a part of her summer school lessons, but I love Horizons. If you've been here for a long time, I've been using Horizons since the beginning for all of my kids. And it's only now that my oldest is getting out of these just elementary concepts that were moving away from Horizons, but my younger kids are going to still be in it for future years. So she is doing that and I love it. I highly recommend it. Go for it. Um, Okay, really quick, I will throw this in here. So this is my daughter. She did this for her history. And um, I'm going to continue doing level two with her in the coming year. But we went through heritage studies and we did it up until um, Jamestown. Did we do Jamestown? I, I can't remember. We did this one, Columbus. We did Christopher Columbus. So I think we stopped at Jamestown, which is chapter nine. And I have some really cute stuff that I forgot to do with her for this. But anyway, Mayflower. Anyway, so I love this book. This is a BJU Press product. I have this and the teacher's manual, and I love teaching from it. I think it's just a really um, accurate, gentle, fun, comprehensive beginning to a social studies lesson. And so the beginning of the year, you're doing a lot of like patriotism. And then at the end of the year, you're doing just like the beginning colonization and Christopher Columbus and um, Plymouth and all of that kind of stuff. So it's a really, really fun book. I highly recommend BJU Heritage Studies level one. And you can do the, the online lessons. I've never done them before, so I can't speak to that, but you can teach it on your own too. It's, it's really a fun one. So so I did that with her a lot, but then like I mentioned, towards the end of the school year, we finished up and then I just never picked it up again, kind of so. But she had a good year with that. Okay, so let's talk really quick about our English section. My kids are beginning to need, be needing me, so I'm gonna have to wrap this up. Okay, so this is the bulk of my daughter's um, English curriculum. This is an Abeka product, and I purchased the Letters and Sounds and the Language one, and she did one page only from each book. Now you could do one page front and back because they are pretty simple pages, but I just did one page because she had some other English things, which I'll show you here in a minute that she did. So um, I loved it. I highly recommend it. I'm going to be doing a Becca with my youngest as he comes into the kindergarten year, but it's very colorful. The directions are super clear, really straightforward, um, just some good solid language practice. So highly recommend language one. And then letters and sounds is kind of just the same. It's just some solid practice of listening to those sounds and then doing the activity. Full color book, front and back, very short lessons. So your attention span doesn't have to be, you know, really intense. You can just sit with them, circle the, you know, circle the special sounds, mark the vowels. I mean, it's just... It's just a really solid curriculum that any mama can bring into her house and get started with no educational background at all. It's fantastic. So that's an Abeka product. Um, okay, so we also did a spelling you see for her. And this is the one that, <laughs> that I laugh at because I picked it up eons ago when my youngest was starting. And I was like, why on earth would you buy a book that has boxes in it? Like, why would you buy that? That is such a waste of money because I can get any notebook paper and I can do this with them, right? And I probably would still think that today, but I did love this curriculum because just the simple practice of having my daughter spell the words, 
I was trying to see if we ripped pages out because I don't feel like we've accomplished much. But anyway, just the matter of her spelling the words and just hearing me say it and that dictation practice, it was really good. And we did skip some of the lessons and like move forward. So you start with three letter CVC words and then you move to four letter. And so I did, I was trying to look for an example here, but I did move her into the four. I thought we were like on lesson 20, but... I don't see it. But anyway, I did move her into the four letter ones by the time we had finished the school year. So, um, oh, maybe I didn't. Anyway, I think we might have finished here. But anyway, so I really did enjoy this. And I think I'm going to use it again in the coming years because, because this is what we started with. And this lasted like two weeks. This is a BJU Press product. Um, spelling one, and this is your very traditional spelling program. Here's your list of words. Here's a few activities. Please regurgitate the words at the end of the week. It works for some people, but we have tried spelling so much. This style of spelling does not work for us. This style of spelling works better. So it is going to take me a minute to, to edit this because I'm getting so many interruptions. Okay, um, let me wrap it up with reading. So we also did versatiles for um, about two months worth of time, and she had reading comprehension and literacy um, as a part of her versatiles studies. So she loved that, and she did that for a while. Um, and then she did have reading, so we did this. This is an Evan Moore reading, Skill Sharpeners reading level one. She finished this whole book, and we loved it. I got her level two, but it really was just a touch too much too fast so i'm going to save that and then probably pick it up here in a couple of weeks as we begin our next school year um but in the interim i was having her read this so this is a horizons product from i think kindergarten level and so this is book three anyway i just was having her read these and then it has like a couple of questions at the end so she was just reading these kind of on her own and and that's where she was with that. So that was our reading. I think I did everything. Okay, good. Perfect. So that was first grade. Now, moving in to second grade, um, I am going to be picking up a, a couple of these publishers and just moving on into the next level, depending on how much we accomplish during our summer school. So um, as I mentioned in my son's fourth grade video, I will be posting our summer school plans. They will be a little bit different than the, what I have done in the past. So we're going to try to do a little bit more of an incentivized um progressive summer school so that we're actually getting some stuff done and a little less just casual playtime. Although I will still have that as well. So anyway, thanks so much for watching another one of my videos. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And in the comments section below, I will make sure and um, put any links to some stuff if you want to kind of grab some of this stuff. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.